Nayeli Barjona is a rising star for downtown Los Angeles soccer club. But the 16-year-old striker has loftier goals beyond finding the back of the net. The daughter of Salvadorian immigrants wants to really change the face of soccer so that one day young ladies like her can see themselves on the field at the highest levels. Our Christian Smith now has more. Fresh Talent, sponsored by Del Taco. One of the many special things about you is you've used your success at the downtown LA Soccer Club uh, to create a platform to talk about some pretty real stuff. I always try to bring awareness to our community, mainly because we're in South LA and it's a very small community. A lot of talent just goes to waste because we're not really getting the recognition that we should be. The U.S. Women's National Team, it's mainly white people and like, um, you don't really see a lot of people of color. She's as good a player as I've ever coached. Um, you know, I've not ever seen, I've not seen her yet get into a situation where she's overmatched. She does have some pretty special ambitions to, to change the, the game for, for women. Not only changing it for women, but I think setting up a system in which, you know, you know, players like her, you know, from, you know, the Latina, so the urban Latina communities who can't, because of the economics of, of clubs, soccer programs get involved in, in traditional programs, which are basically the feeder. And I know it, it really frustrates them because they have the skill, they have the passion for the game. There is no pathway for them. A couple of years ago, we went to see the, the U.S. national team play a friendly at the Rose Bowl. And um, she was talking about it later, and the first thing she goes, nobody looks like me out there. But it just didn't look as right as it would be if there were people of color more like more in the face of soccer in the face of women's SMT. So you want to be that person. You want to tell, tell me where you see yourself in the next. Uh, I see myself one day actually holding the World Cup in my hand. She's got the talent. She's got at the ambition. She's got the drive and she works hard. Again, it's a question of breaking down a system. What kind of legacy do you hope to leave one day when you look back and you're like, that's the mark I want to leave on the world? A legacy that I would want to leave behind is to never be scared to do things out of the ordinary. No matter how much people, how many people are telling you it's impossible, it's impossible just to set them all aside and do what people think are impossible, you know? Be, uh, be that person that makes that difference. She's testament to the fact that if you have a dream, you know, no matter where you come from, no matter, you know, you know, what your family station life is, if you have that dream and you stick to it. And I think if anybody does it, she would be the person that it would, it would be her. That is absolutely incredible. And Beto, is cool. it amazing how sometimes our young people can see things clearer and more clear into the future than maybe we can? And you got to have those dreams. You got to have those hopes. And when your parents are immigrants like mine are, like hers are, there is no safety net. You have no ability to make mistakes and you have to do it the right way. There's no chance for you to say, oh, I'm going to make an excuse about this. No, it's con ganas. You got to have the desire. You got to get after it. And that's what she's doing. She's a perfect example of dreams indeed do come true.